good morning to all it further and um, see how to uh, do pls uh, pm uh, for the metric data now in this particular video walk of mine what i will do it is um i will introduce you to the packages that are being uh, used for the analysis part for the metric data number one and we will see each one of them taking care step by step so here you can see that the first one that we have got is um exclamatory that is hash that is for me that yes this is the uh, users bin and environment is python 3 the second one that i need to start off is with exclamatory mark pip install plspm this is how the program uh, the entire script will function unless and until you do not uh, write this particular thing we will not be able to uh, proceed further then import pandas as pd as i keep telling you pandas is nothing but the uh, panel data that is being used over here um, to study the various uh, variables which are present in the data set and then plspm configuration as c because it has been designed through that way from plspm we are also going to import uh, another package which is plspm and then we have got import scheme and import uh, mode also so here you can see once we go ahead we run it we can see that the uh, plspm has been installed over here and requirement satisfied numpy pandas see you can uh, look at the kind of the packages that we have got skykit learn is there skypy is there stats models is there then pi uh, tz is there python data utility is there job lib so these are all the different kinds of the uh, packages that are available and through this particular thing they have been installed over here now um, uh, you know the i had already discussed with you as to how to import the files into the um, uh, collab region you just have to write it as i mean key the words from google collab that is google.collab import files uploaded equals to files upload so you know it will ask you where the files are present so i know where my files are there so i will go ahead and check it out and i know it is um, present in the pls python this one and i'll just have to uh, check out as to where my data is present okay it is here and it is the satisfaction this is the one and it goes here and you can see the percentage as to how much it has been taken care of so it is 100% done so my um, uh, the data is also imported into the collab uh, region now i have to go and i have to uh, read the uh, uh, i mean i haven't seen the uh, file yet so i have to read so i'm going to read it and save this one under another uh, uh, name that is given to it is satisfaction so let us go ahead and run this one and see what is the output so you can see here that the variables which are available to us in this are imag1 imag2 3 4 5 then exp it is actually a customer service um, i would say data set wherein they have got they are talking about the experience then they are talking about the quality of the work the value the satisfaction all these things have been taken care of in this particular data set now if if I go further okay and we should know as to how many rows are there the total number of rows are 250 this is the best part in uh, python that i come to know immediately through um, uh, you know the moment i go ahead and create uh, and read the folder you know especially with the data set you will see that it gives you the total number of rows as well as the column so there are 250 rows number one number two 29 columns are present for us for this particular data set now if i want to understand what is the structure of this particular data set now you see in peel it's not necessary that every time we are uh, very comfortably um, you know uh, enjoying with the coding now here you will see that first of all the code is that uh, structure and we are combining it completely uh, with the combined um, i would say module wherein you know you are going to create a structure what is the structure you're saying that add path if these are my variables out here that is imag experience satisfaction and loyalty i have got the path that i'm showcasing them that yes please go ahead and create this path for me 
for the model so one would be path imag wherein it has got the items experience satisfaction and loyalty second one is for experience with quality value and satisfaction the third one is quality that is value and satisfaction value consist of satisfaction and satisfaction consist of the loyalty so this is the one the structure of the entire path that has been designed over here then you will say it will be asking me configuration how am i supposed to configure the structure path and i'm saying let the scaling be absolutely false right now i'm not looking for the truth over here then the columns named are what so here it is going to show us what is the moderation effect and all those things are <clears throat> are available so here you can see i mark that is this one mode that is um, this one is present that is the mode instance then satisfaction then image similarly for experience and then it goes ahead and says uh, you know satisfaction and experience quality and satisfaction quality value for satisfaction and value is there satisfaction satisfaction loyalty loyalty so pls pm it calculates the entire thing saying that pls pm satisfaction configuration is what we have already defined it scheme is we are taking care with the help of the centroid not the other one we will see uh, how it differs from different different uh, schemes also are present and we will understand them then i am saying uh, after the calculation of this print pls pm underscore calculation for the inner summary and then print pls pm the inner summary means inner model that is how we need to understand and here print pls pm calculated path coefficients are also being taken care of so right now let me uh, just go ahead and uh, take away the last line and run the remaining part of it okay so here we go you can uh, see the output which is coming here and that is six rows and six columns let me run the last line also so that i can see the path coefficient here we go okay so in the first part let me uh, copy six by six rows are there and what all things can you see out here that is experience, uh, experience is endogenous then im ag is exogenous loyalty is endogenous that is the type it has given to you then quality is endogenous satisfaction is again endogenous and then value uh, that they are giving to us is endogenous r squared values are there now i have copied it and i can show you the entire thing this is how it looks type is that means the variable what is the type of the variable r square values let me just uh, take it little bit so that this becomes much more clearer r squared values then uh, you have got block communality values are there that mean redundancy how much it has uh, reduced uh, out here and then you can see ave values av e values are also there and uh, now you can see as to how the uh, interpretation of it we will do it in the next video walk right now let us just focus on these things and see that uh, in python when we are analyzing uh, the metric data the output that we get for the first one is this one wherein it is r square block communality mean redundancy and a v e values have been given to us directly i mean they are, are not looking for anything else that's number 1 number 2 uh, when i said that uh, go ahead and uh, give me the path coefficients so you can see that it is um, giving it with imag with img that is this one and this one is zero then experience with experience is zero then quality quality is zero so you can see that identity matrix is also created out here very nicely and the path coefficient with each and other variables that are present so here we have got 1 2 3 4 5 6 variables and 6 variables out here and their path coefficients also have been given to us so um this is the output that we have got so let me come up with yet another uh, video wherein we would like to know more about the path that has been created and how to understand it that's number 1 number 2 we can even look at the uh, how the analysis goes with 
with the non metric data now so keep watching for the other video till then thank you and take care bye